Hi. So in this video, we are going to learn how to find factors. And in this process of finding factors, we will also learn how to find prime factors, right? So suppose we take a number 90 and try to find its factors. So first, let's see its divisibility, right? So we will check in order of 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11 then 13 because all these are the prime numbers right so what is the divisibility rule of 2 any number which has 0 or an even number at units place will be divisible by 2 so this 90 has 0 at its units place so it will be divisible by 2 right and if we check the divisibility by 3 yes sum of all the digits of the number should be divisible by 3 so 9 plus 0 is 9 and 3 3 is a 9 so 90 is also divisible by 3 right and what are the divisibility rule of 5 yes the unit place should either be 5 or 0 so 90 has 0 at its units place so it will be divisible by 5 right and what are the divisibility rule of 7 yes divisibility rule of 7 implies on the number which has more than 3 digits so since 90 has only two digits, we have to divide it and check. So 90 divided by 7, 7 ones are 7, 2, 0, and 20 is not divisible by 7. Because 7 threes are 21 and 7 twos are 14, right? So it is not divisible by 7, right? 11 divisibility rule of 11 is the difference between the sum of the digits at even places and odd places should be divisible by 11 so 9 minus 0 is 9 and 9 is definitely not divisible by 11 so 90 is not divisible by 11 and it will not be divisible by 13 also divisibility rule of 13 is exactly same of the divisibility rule of 7 so to apply the rule we should have more than three digits but since 90 has only two digits so we have to directly divide it and check whether it is divisible by 13 or not right so 13 multiplied by 7 which is just one more than 90 that means we are definitely going to have a remainder over here and to check let's divide it six times six threes are 18 one carried forward six ones are six plus one seven seventy eight so ten minus eight is two eight minus seven is one so twelve is the remainder so we have checked the divisibility rules so we have only these three numbers which divides 90 completely we'll take these numbers one by one and try to divide 90 by them so if i take 2 we'll get 2 fours are 8 and 2 fives are 10 so this 90 can actually be written as 2 multiplied by 45 right and now we have this 45 4 plus 5 is 9 which is divisible by 3 so 45 will also be divisible by 3 and this can be written as 3 ones are 3, 3 fives are 15. So 45 can be written as 3 multiplied by 15. Right? And this 15 is also divisible by 3 and it can be written as 3 multiplied by 5. Right? So all these numbers which are over here are actually the factors of 90. And these factors we get when we start dividing by 2. And let's see if we get something different when we start dividing by 3 or not so if I take 90 and start dividing it by 3 3 3 is a 9 and 0 right these will be two factors of 90 and this 30 is again divisible by 3 and it can be written as 3 multiplied by 10 3 ones are 3 and 0 this 10 is divisible by 2 and it can be written as 2 multiplied by 5 2 fives are 10 right so if we talk about these final points in the tree we are actually getting same set of factors which is 1 2 2 threes and 1 5 right but intermediate nodes are different isn't it so let's check if we get something different when we start dividing it by 5 so I'll remove all this and if I divide 90 by 5, 5 ones are 5, 5 
8s are 40. So this 90 can be written as 5 multiplied by 18 and this 18 is divisible by 3 because 8 plus 1 is 9. So 3, 6 are 18. So 18 can be written as 3 multiplied by 6 and this 6 can be written as 2 multiplied by 3. Right. So in this case also these extreme n's have same set of factors. Right. But there are different numbers at these intermediate nodes. So numbers which we find at these terminals are all prime numbers. Right. And when these multiplied will result in 90. 2 3s are 6. 6 3s are 18. 18 5s are 90. Right. So in each of these trees we are getting same set of prime factors. So the prime factors of 90 can be written as 90 can be found 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. These are the prime factors. Prime factors of any given number is actually a set of prime numbers which when multiplied result the number itself. Right? So in this case the prime factors of 90 are 2, 3, 3 and 5. Right? But if I talk about all the factors of 90, all the possible factors of 90, they are yes, they will start from 1 right? and then we will have all these prime factors which are 2, 3, and 5. I am writing 3 only once because 3 is the factor of 90. right? And all the numbers which are found on these intermediate nodes, this 45, 15, 30, 10, 18 and 6, all of them are also the factors of 90. Right? Yes. So 6 is the factor of 90, then we have 10, then we have 15, then we have 18, then we'll have 30 and 45 and last but not the least the number itself. So 90 is also the factor of 90. But here actually we have missed one number and what is that number? See this 45 can be written as 5 multiplied by 9. 5 nines are 45 and at the same time this 18 can also be written as 2 multiplied by 9. Right? If I divide this 18 by 2, I will get 9 as one of the nodes. Similarly, if I divide this 45 by 5, here also I will get 9 as one of the nodes. So, 9 will also be the factor of 90. Right? And yes, it is very obvious, but we have missed it. So, the new list of all the factors will be this, which includes 9 also. So, this is the set of prime factors. And this is the set of all the possible factors of 90 right and definitely the set of prime factors is a subset of all the factors of the number right so this is about factorization and factors and in next video we are going to learn one more method of factoring the numbers